Uh, hi, I'm Garrison Roll from the Public Relations team of Elite Stars Management, LLC. I am Justin Havis from the contract team of Elite Stars Management. I'm Logan Pickard from the contract team of Elite Stars Management. And I'm Mark Alberts from the endorsement team of Elite Stars Management. And this is our client, Darren Lucy. At 275 66 Barrel, Clayton, Born in San Diego on August 21st, 1991. At a young age, his father passed away from cancer and he had to step up for his family and be a man of uh, He attended LSU and he was a true senior and uh, he received multiple awards uh, as, in his college life and these are just three of the many that he had. SEC Defensive Player of the Year, which is very prestigious uh, at this time. First team academic all league for four straight years and also for a all American last year. Uh, he was also a part of two charity programs, uh, American Cancer Society and the Live Strong Project. And pre-draft, he signed with us, Elite Stars Management. Uh, he was projected to be a top three pick, and he did have uh, the DUI incident. Darrell was drafted number 10 to the Detroit Lions in 2014. He served a short-term suspension of two games of his DUI. He got an, uh, an endorsement with Nike and he had a Jimmy Fallon appearance and he was projected third in Rookie of the Year voting. So a couple of highlights of Mr. Gleason's career. As we already stated, he signed with the League Stars Management, which was a big deal for him. He, as a young up-and-coming star in the NFL, he needed an agency to take his career to the next level and he decided that Elite Stars Management was that agency. We also stated that he was a large contributor to Live Strong and the American Cancer Society charities. These were a pretty big deal to Gleason because his father had passed away from cancer when he was young, so fighting cancer has always been a big part of his life. He was a number 10 overall draft pick in 2014 to the Detroit Lions. He was able to negotiate with his agency in a five-year, $30 million contract deal, and he was able to get $18 million guaranteed in that contract. Later, or before the draft, Excuse me. Later, he made a surprisingly strong appearance on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. This was good for Gleason because fans were able to see a newer side of him. Most people saw him as just a sports figurehead. They also got to see that he was funny. He was just he had a good personality. He was able to get new fans to just extend his image. He also made a deal uh, with Nike for his own line of cleats. These cleats are titled the Gleason Forces, and they are widely popular in Michigan. Uh, originally, Nike came to Elite Stars Management, and they asked. Uh, they proposed a line of shoes that were pink and mustard yellow with glitter on them. Uh, Mr. Gleason did not like that, and with further negotiations, we were able to come to an agreement on a style of shoes that everybody was fond of. During his rookie year, it was a very strong rookie year for Mr. Gleason. His stats show great improvements from his last season at LSU to his first season with the Lions. He is currently being talked about uh, being third in the voting for uh, rookie of the year, and he has a good chance of moving up in those polls. Now, as a rookie, Gleason had one very big problem in that he had a DUI right before the draft. That went, that brought him from the third pick down to the tenth pick where he was drafted to the Detroit Lions. Um, during that, we believe that in order to prevent that, there were, we should, there should have been clear guidelines as to what could have made him successful. And then after, we decided to maybe get an endorsement with Sports Illustrated for a feature in their magazine and maybe even on the cover. But um, that, that felt through shortly. Um, we should have also been clear on that, stated more of what we wanted, more of the layout. And um, the DOI basically started it all. And after that, he started to face extreme criticism. And that's why we needed to try and uh, make his image better. But uh, he had a lack of trust between his coaching staff and himself. They made him get have curfews and uh, he couldn't go out with the teams like during the week uh, right before a game. And many of the Lions players and staffs were not willing to mentor him because they didn't believe that he would be able to survive the NFL because of, because of his uh, horrible off-field problems. But yeah. These are some other of our missed opportunities, like we said, Sports Illustrated. We also had Skittles. We decided Skittles because that was Mr. Gleason's favorite candy but that fell through very shortly after it started. We, bought, we also decided to go with Ford as one of the big companies in Detroit, one of the major companies, and we thought that would help his image. 
Um, like I said, from the DUI, he dropped from third in the draft to tenth in the draft. And then Apple, we decided to contact Apple because they were looking for a new um, spokesperson, like a celebrity. And we thought Daryl Gleason would be very good to play in that role. And um, Apple, and us and Apple, we didn't really agree on things and we everything just kind of fell through. We, we just needed to improve on like trying to get Gleason out there more and uh, get more endorsements for him because Nike was really what like our only endorsement for him. Yeah. So uh, we needed to probably our biggest challenges would be upholding a solid image for Gleason. Uh, the DUI arrest, as we said, it was really bad for him. A lot of rumors that had nothing to do with him started circulating. It was really hard to manage that. And then, like uh, Justin said, endorsements were a big deal because Nike was the biggest endorsement that we had. It was practically the only endorsement that we had. And to improve, we probably should have been a little more aggressive, maybe a little more lenient in our negotiations with, uh, with the various endorsements that we sought out. Like Garrison said, we definitely should have been more aggressive. We should have done more endorsements. But it was definitely a lot harder after his DUI to get those endorsements because of his public image. And that really, that really hit us in everything. We were just able to, we were able to turn him around though. We were able to turn around his career with getting him on Jimmy Fallon and just, we did some good PR for him to help him have a good rookie season.